Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Now I've been using the original PS4 controller for quite some time and to be honest I find it rather boring. But thanks to the guys from Extreme Rate we'll be able to completely change the look of this PS4 controller. The first item they sent us is a beautiful red soft touch controller shell which has an awesome smooth feel to it. The second item Extreme Rate sent us is a PS4 controller LED kit. It comes with a very detailed installation guide. Here is the LED kit itself and everything you need to install the kit is included in the package. First I am going to install the controller shell. To do so we have to disassemble the controller which is held together by 4 screws. Be careful when separating the two parts of the controller because there is a ribbon cable that's connecting them. Next we are going to disconnect the battery and remove the plastic tray that it's sitting on. Once we have that removed we can disconnect the other ribbon cable that goes to the main board. Now we can also remove the touchpad and all of the buttons. Grab the new controller shell and put the buttons and the touchpad. And all we have to do is reassemble the controller. And that's how the installed product should look like. I really like the material it's made of, it fits very well in the hands and it feels nice and solid. If you want to go even further and customize your PS4 controller even more, you can install an LED kit that illuminates all the buttons. That's basically what I'm going to do next. So first we have to replace all the buttons with the ones that come with the LED kit. The replacement buttons have a transparent part that will allow light to come through them. You also need to remove the thumbstick and the trigger buttons, but don't worry, they come out pretty easily. And here is the LED kit itself. An extra ribbon cable is provided in case you somehow ruin the first one. There are also two places that we have to fold on the LED kit and they are indicated by a small dashed line. The part that we folded earlier on the LED kit needs to make contact with the contact pad that's on the back side of the controller board. There are two plastic pins that the contact pad needs to be attached to in order for it to make a perfect contact.
Next, we have to fold those upper parts of the LED kit and place them where the triggers and bumpers are. Once we've done that, we can reassemble the triggers. Now for the analog sticks, remove the tape that's on the circle LEDs and stick them nice and firmly on the analog sticks. We are almost done, the last step is to replace the small PCB that's on the backplate of the controller with the PCB that's provided with the kit. It's easier to attach the ribbon cable now before screwing the PCB in place. The thinner ribbon cable goes to the LED kit and the other goes to the controller board. There are another two cables that are plugged to the controller board and the battery. If everything is done right, when we plug the battery, the LED kit should light up. using the gradient setting, but you can assign a different color to a total of 7 button areas. You can change the color by pressing square and L1 simultaneously for 5 seconds. Nightmare. I kept telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. 